today we're going to take a look at Telium IQ. First, before we get started, just some quick orientation. On your upper right hand side here, you'll see this drop down menu. This gives us access to accounts, profiles, and versions. We allow our customers to manage their different web properties and mobile apps and anywhere where Telium IQ is running so that you can make changes to those individual properties or data sources while also making global changes as well. So the first thing we're going to focus on is the data layer. The initial implementation is focused on de defining that data in a single place. Data can come from all sorts of different types of places. Uh, the most relevant one is typically uh, through what we call a universal data object. This is a single definition of data within your websites and mobile apps. We have a bunch of different ways to accomplish this. One of the most common is to use one of our provider bundles. Telium has done turnkey integrations with major content management systems and e-commerce tools across the uh, ecosystem. In addition to that, we have common bundles. Because we've done integrations with, uh, with tens of thousands of websites, we've come up with standards when it comes to data collection. Once the data layer is put in place, customers can begin lever leveraging that data. The first thing they can do is add tag-based integrations. Telium has built out over a thousand different turnkey integrations. And when we do an integration, we don't just put a logo into the, uh, into the tag marketplace. We actually take the JavaScript library and implementation guide, and we, uh, we integrate it into our three-step process. So now the process of adding a tag is as simple as finding the tool that you want, clicking add, and then going through our three-step process. And the three-step process is exactly the same for all thousand plus turnkey integrations that we've done. First and foremost, add your tracking ID in. If you have a snippet of code, you can also simply cut and paste that code into this part of the tool, and we'll extract out the tracking ID and any other relevant information. Step two, simply tell Telium when and where to load this tag. This is a powerful feature that allows us to programmatically decide when and where to either load or suppress tracking pixels and tag templates. The third and most powerful part of this three-step process is the ability to map data directly from our data layer that we looked at just a moment ago directly into each individual tag. And what we've done is, first and foremost, expo expose that data in our data layer, allow you to click Select Destination, and this takes us to our mapping toolboxes. This is a visual representation of the way that this specific vendor can receive data. And each one of these looks a little different because every vendor can receive different types of data. The beauty of this is that this is exposing all of the native functionality of this vendor. And so for a thousand plus vendors, our customers can now simply log into this interface, pick the vendor they want, choose the data that they want to share with that vendor, and map it directly in. And that's the same for all thousand plus vendors. The next piece to this is to save and publish your changes. The save and publish engine gives us a bunch of different functionality, including the ability to publish to different environments, to add notes if needed. Telium also takes its own notes. So in case your end users forget to document what they've been doing, Telium has a change management system that looks at all the changes that have been made from when you logged in and to when you're trying to actually publish out. Once you click, click publish, that creates a new version. So this is our version control management system. This looks at every single time any user in the system has added or changed anything within your tag management instance. You can see here each individual user, the work they've done, and of course, the changes that they've made. Again, just in case that user forgets to document the changes, Telium's there listening and memorializing anything that's changed in the system. One last thing to point out is our extensions section. Uh, this is a major differentiator for Telium. These are technical use cases that typically would be considered custom JavaScript exercises that have been productized and standardized in our UI. You can see here we have a bunch of different features, including the ability to persist data values, to join or concatenate multiple data values together. We even have some advanced use cases, such as the ability to create channel-based attribution data, or to even write custom JavaScript and scope it to your individual tags. In addition to that, we have our privacy ca uh, capabilities. This is our privacy manager and our do not track compliance, critical to our international clients and more and more for our domestic clients as well. Thanks for taking a look at Telium IQ today. If you have any questions, you can either reach out to sales uh, or send us a request. Mm -hmm.